Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your daily midday market minute. Well, risk sentiment certainly improved on the opening bell. We saw the NASDAQ surge off of the overnight lows. Big major three-star support, 15,300. It held, and now we're back above 15,400. That's a pretty interesting area to keep an eye on. 15,400, it's been a sort of a point of balance for the middle part of the week. Do we close above there today? You know, you look at Tesla and Netflix really leading things higher. They were very subdued coming from yesterday and into the overnight through the overnight but tesla and netflix both surged on the open and led the nasdaq higher and um again it's going to matter how we close today so the s p though is struggling again that 45 25 45 29 area but it, you know it's hanging in there can it close above it today now the dow is backing off from those new record highs one thing to really keep a close eye on, especially if tech is leading the way, is what are yields doing? The U.S. 10-year yield is almost to 1.7%, and the U.S. 30-year 30 30-year yield is pushing trend line resistance. We've highlighted this trend line quite a bit. Failed out there early last week. If we close, say, above, was it about 220? That would really clear the the trend line and, and potentially take yields to 240 very quickly. That would weigh on tech. You're seeing the 30-year bond prices hanging at the low end of the range right now. What happens here through the close and through the overnight? Does, if these yields rise, you have to pay attention to what it does to tech and how that could react. So keep an eye on that. How, do the S &P, how does the S&P close today as well? Very important. The Russell did trade 2300 backed away, though, pretty sharply, about 1% from there in a very quick manner. So watch what the Russell does, you know, because all this is ties in. How is the risk sentiment? Is it going to carry higher or does it start to peel back a little bit? Now, crude oil did peel back a little bit. Now it's ripping right back higher. We were above 83, but 83.80, I think, was the high on the day. 83.30, 83.40 is a level we're watching on a closing basis. When the market fell back, it did hold major three-star support. The level it held yesterday, the level it held earlier in the week, 80.77 to 81 bucks. I got to be honest, I thought it was going to break here this time, and it didn't. We're right back above 82. So very, very well-defined range here in crude oil. Watch this thing consolidate. Now that the November contract is out of the way, sometimes you start to get a reversal move, and that's what the December contract can do. That's what we're waiting for is to see that the December contract can fall back a bit. Consolidate would be a really great opportunity for a re-entry. Now, talking about rates and yields uh, on the 10-year and the 30-year, if that if those things run up a bit and the 30-year breaks out from that trend line and the 10-year gets above 1.7, gold cannot ignore that. Gold is starting to see a little bit of selling here, not much, consolidating. 1780, it's just hanging there, but it's struggled to hold higher prices. Silver, though, has held those higher prices, but it does seem that the overall sort of undertone with rising, rising rates, a firm dollar is, is holding silver back, it's holding gold back. Platinum reversed made a new high and reversed pretty sharply copper was down pretty heavily too we highlighted that in the morning express copper about 15 cents from the high watch platinum here platinum closes below 1040 we could see a move maybe as uh, pretty quickly down to a thousand dollars that right there though too is a reason why watching gold struggling at higher prices do we see this thing start to consolidate looks like it could see some selling overnight but overall we would like to see lower prices and, and things like gold and platinum to be great buying opportunities in the coming months. Give us a call. Our trade desk is here, 312-278-0500. Remember, though, futures trading involves substantial risk of losses, not suitable for all investors.